Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep and to the part 3 in the series of Shabbat dips and salads. I can't wait to share these recipes with you. First up, I'll be sharing with you my roasted eggplant salad. I take an eggplant and I wrap it in some tin foil and place it on an open flame for about 15 to 20 minutes until it becomes charred. You know that it's ready by placing a fork or a knife into the eggplant and it comes out very easily. After removing it from the open flame, I cut it in half and scoop out all of the eggplant from the inside. It should be nice and soft and easy to be removed. I place that into a separate plate or bowl. The cleanup is very quick and easy. I just fold the tin foil with the remaining eggplant shell and throw it into the garbage. So to make the salad, you need that roasted eggplant that you carved out, half of a large tomato, a few cloves of garlic, some cilantro, lemon juice, and some salt. And everything is made in the food processor, which is amazing. I place those two garlic cloves into the food processor and just pulse it until everything is minced. Once that's done, I place in the cilantro. I just break them in half or into three portions, place that inside and pulse that as well and to break up the pieces. I add in half of a tomato or you could just add in one small tomato inside and I pulse that as well just to make the tomatoes um, like bite-sized pieces. I add in the eggplant that I have prepared earlier with about two tablespoons of lemon juice and some salt. I make sure to scrub down the sides and pulse it until a nice and smooth consistency develops. For those of you that are familiar with the Bukharian cuisine, this is like boijon, but with a more of a Mediterranean flavor. And next up, I'll be sharing with you how I make my lettuce beet salad. I take my lettuce and I wash it, and to get all of the water out, I use this salad spinner. I love it because it really gets out all of the water, and your salad does not become watery. I'll have this uh, salad spinner that I'm using linked in the description box below if anyone is interested in it. And you'll see how much water I'm able to get out by using this salad spinner. Once all the lettuce has been washed and dried, I chop everything up and place it into a nice serving bowl. To that, I add in some hearts of palm, some boiled beets, and an avocado. I add in a few handful of capers because I like the saltiness that it gives to the salad. For the dressing, I add in about three crushed garlic cloves, a few heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise, a squeeze of half of a lemon, some pepper, and salt. I added a little bit of avocado oil to thin out the dressing and mix it very well. 
I mix the salad with the dressing right before serving. I top the salad with some more capers right over the top. Here I'll be sharing a super simple carrot salad that I do in my food processor. I did not have regular sized carrots this time, so I used some baby carrots, but two to three medium sized carrots will do for, for the salad. After everything has been shredded, I place it into a bowl and to that I add in about 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, 3 crushed garlic cloves, one to 2 tablespoons of dill or any other greens that you prefer in your salads, and a handful of craisins. I also add in about two to three heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. It really varies on the amount of carrots that you have. And I season it with some salt and pepper. I give everything a good mix, serve and enjoy. Next up, I'll be sharing with you my kids' very favorite egg salad. I take about six to seven eggs and boil them until they're ready. I give them a rough chop and place them into a bowl. In the bowl, I already have here two crushed garlic cloves and about two tablespoons of dill. I also enjoy these with some scallions when I don't have dill around. I season this with some salt and black pepper and mix everything with mayonnaise. I really like this egg salad because it has a hint of garlic in there and I feel like it just brings it up a notch. Lastly, I'll be sharing with you this cabbage salad. I try not to make every single salad that I serve on Shabbat have mayonnaise, so one to two things I'll reserve and I'll make something differently with. So I have this coleslaw mix and you know coleslaw is usually made with mayonnaise but this recipe I just omitted and I'll show you the kind of dressing that I put in. I have here the coleslaw mix, red peppers that I sliced up and greens of choice. I added in some salt and black pepper and dressed it up with some lemon juice and avocado oil. give everything a very good mix. I'm very gentle when I do mix the salad because I don't want it to become very mushy. So I use a light hand while mixing this salad and it's beautiful and tangy and delicious. Well, that's it for this week's Shabbat dips and salads. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button on the bottom of your screen. It is completely free. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are made aware of the next video that I'll be posting. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.